Now the University of Florida is making last minute preparations ahead of what could be a potentially violent day tomorrow. Protests are expected on the campus ahead of the speech of white nationalist Richard Spencer. It will take place tomorrow afternoon on the Gainesville campus. Let's go now to local 10 news reporter Amy Vettieri who is live there with the heightened security. Amy. Well, Calvin, this evening we have seen students praying and we have heard many of them are anxious about that event planned for tomorrow. But what we have not seen are any disturbances or protests. Law enforcement officers are patrolling nearly every corner of this campus and this city. Students gathered in prayer Wednesday night ahead of Thursday's controversial white nationalist speech by Richard Spencer on the University of Florida's campus. In downtown Gainesville, police gathered on corners after implementing a ban on items like bats and shields due to the state of emergency. But all was quiet. We've got your back. You know, we're here to protect you. The sheriff's office says their plan is based in part on what they learned from Charlottesville, Virginia, a rally at which Spencer was scheduled to speak, which ended in violent protests and one woman's death. <laughs> Tensions here are high, as some people with safety concerns have reported seeing armed militia on campus, even calling campus police, only to find out in some cases the suspected militia were actually members of FHP's quick response force. Personally, I feel um, angry uh, that, you know, the university is allowing this man to come speak. Students like Wallace Maison plan to protest Spencer's speech Thursday afternoon. We have a white supremacist uh, neo-Nazi coming here to spread an ideology of hate. The university is spending an estimated $500,000 on security for the event. Spokeswoman Janine Sykes telling me today they had to balance their duty as a public institution with their legal requirements to follow the First Amendment. The costs are high, but what cost do you put on a human life or, or uh, injuries? And law enforcement agencies from South Florida also responding here to the University of Florida. BSO tells me they have sent over 30 deputies and Miami-Dade Police Department saying 54 of their officers arrived here today to assist while specific numbers on the total law enforcement response are not available. One officer told me tonight, should anything happen tomorrow, they are ready. We're live in Gainesville. Amy Viteri, Local 10 News. Controversial day. Amy, thanks a lot.